we need to remove gigatons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And last week I talked about kind of the three pieces of that solution, capture, sequestration, and products. When I'm learning about a new company, when I'm meeting founders talking about a new idea, the question at the back of my head is often, are you working in sequestration or products? It seems like there's a bunch of great innovations that it could kind of go either way, or maybe it could go both ways. Uh, and I want to talk more about that. It's something that comes up in Airminer's Launchpad as well. Uh, this week, we got to speak to Henrietta Moon from Carbo Culture, and she shared some of the background on, on how Carbo Culture has, has navigated that over the years. And I think this will be useful to anybody that's starting a company in carbon removal or thinking about starting a company or interested in kind of how the industry works in general. When you're starting a carbon removal business, there's kind of two ways to go. First is, are you gonna make a product out of carbon dioxide? You're gonna make something that's really useful to somebody like a farmer or another business. The other way is, are you gonna sequester carbon in a way that governments or big companies are willing to pay you for through carbon credits? The challenge with this is, just because you have an innovation, a way to do something with carbon, doesn't mean yet that you have a business. And that's what we're working on at Air Mars Launchpad is helping figure out how to take people with new innovative ideas, figure out how to turn into a carbon removal business so that we can help build the entire carbon removal industry. So the two paths are actually quite different in terms of what you need to get good at. Sure, you're still kind of working in the carbon removal ecosystem, but selling products versus selling carbon credits is quite different. So I wanna talk a bit about that. So when you're selling a product, what you're doing is you're, you're developing a customer who is using what you're making to, to make their business better. So a key example here would be, imagine a farmer who's buying biochar in order to increase their crop yield, right? Like that's what it is to sell a product. You've got these customers, they have particular needs, they're looking for more yield, they're looking for more throughput, they're working for you know speed or, or lower cost or something like that. In order to sell products, you need to be able to develop those types of customers. With sequestration, it's quite different. If you're selling carbon credits, you need to be able to get really good at uh, verification, measurement, the type of retention that your innovation can, can yield in terms of being able to hold on to carbon dioxide over a long period of time. And you need to be able to convince big companies, governments, people to pay for the carbon removal credit that you're producing. Overall, these are two very different skills. Getting good at selling a packaged good or a product to a customer is really different than selling a carbon credit to a customer that's a government or a big company. I've seen companies either specialize in one or try to get good at both, but one thing that's recently changed is the carbon removal credit market. This is something that basically didn't used to exist. Then about a year, two years ago, Stripe announced they were making carbon removal purchases. Shopify joined along with Microsoft. You're seeing the NASDAQ startup uh, in their partnership and their, their purchase of Puro.Earth to create a marketplace for carbon removal credits. This really opens the door for startup companies that just wanna go after making and selling carbon credits without dealing so much with the product side of the business. So that's pretty exciting. My own hypothesis used to be really focused on just the opportunities to utilize the carbon dioxide, just the opportunities to make products that you sell to somebody because it's better, faster, or stronger. And there are opportunities there. There are also some great new opportunities popping up in just plain selling carbon removal credits to companies, governments, other businesses. And I think those markets are really starting to emerge. Either way can work, potentially even going after both markets can work, but it's good for a startup to understand where they are in that and, and how they're thinking about it. And what we're doing at Airminers Launchpad is helping innovations become great businesses so that we can help build successful carbon removal industry.